Hello, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows 11 on your PC. Before we start the tutorial, please make sure that you have the correct specs for Windows 11 and that your computer can actually run with uh, Windows 11 with the system requirements, because if not, then this will be all in vain. Please make sure that you can do these and your system can handle it. See, for example, this TPM, I will be showing you how to enable this in the video, but please make sure that your BIOS can even you know, run TPM and even have it and secure boot. So um, yeah, please make sure that you have the system requirements. And, and so let's get right into the tutorial. There's two things you need. You need a USB and you need to go down to the link in the description to get the Windows 11 installation media to load up Windows on your USB. So go ahead and download that. Run it. This will set up Windows 11 on your USB. Accept. Okay, you go to the language, select English or whatever language you need and Windows 11. So use recommended options. And here you're going to want to click USB flash drive. Click next. And this is where you want to insert your USB. Refresh. So my USB has Arch on there, but I'm going to be overriding it. So whatever's on your USB will be overwritten. Just remember that. And so it's going to be downloading a Windows 11 on that USB. So this is going to take a bit. I also have written instructions on my website. I'll put the link in the description. It's a blog post you can follow along if you don't want to follow through video. So I will be back when this is done downloading Windows 11 on our USB. Okay, so that took about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to press finish so our USB is ready. Unplug and replug our USB back in and go ahead and shut down our computer and go to the BIOS and set things up there. So in our BIOS, we will be enabling TPM 2.0. This is a part that gives a lot of problems when you install it. If you forget this step, um, you have to go to the BIOS and figure this out. UEIF firmware, I'll be showing it away on my motherboard. Your motherboard may need different, different type of instructions. So you can search those up. Okay. So once you restart your computer, you're going to want to go into the BIOS and there's a couple of buttons that you need to press depending on your motherboard. In this case, I'm using an Asus. So I'm going to spam the delete key. Okay. It might be different on your machine, but when you start up your computer, it'll show what buttons you need to press. So you see it says press delete or F 12 F two. I'm spamming delete in this case, and you will be able to see that we are in the bios. So once you're here, you want to go to advanced mode and what you're looking for is the PCH configuration okay and if it's not in there see i had to go through and look around and see where it was but you're looking for the tpm settings so i'm going to select firmware tpm you need to enable this on whatever your bios is so in this case i'm enabling firmware Okay, now once you enable that, you're going to now want to go to the boot settings and make the USB that you plugged in your primary boot device. So in this case, I'm using the UEFI boot USB as boot option number one. Once you went and changed these settings, make sure to save and reset. Make sure to save because if you do not, your BIOS will not save and it will not boot and it will give you problems. So if you successfully set up the bio settings, you will get this windows installation page. If you did not, you will get an error saying your PC is not set up for windows 11 or it's not able to run windows 11. So I'm going to move forward. You might have to go through the bio settings again. So I'm going to select English time currency, English keyboard or input us next and install now. Now, in this case, I don't have a product key, so I'm going to select, I don't have a product key, but if you do, you can enter it and it will activate your windows and I'm going to select windows 11 next. And I accept the terms of services. You can read this if you want. Select next. 
Now, if you want to keep some of your storage and settings, if you're already running a Windows 11 or Windows 10, you can select upgrade, which will help you do that. But in this case, I'm going to do a custom install and I'm going to select drive zero because that's where I want my windows to be stored. If you have an SSD, I, you should put it on the SSD rather than the hard drive. And there should be a list of multiple drives if you have some. In this case, I only have one, one drive, so I'm going to select this one and I'm going to select next. And now it will install Windows 11. Okay, so once you're finished, you will get Cortana talking to you. US, press next. Okay, keyboard, yes. US, no, I don't want to add a keyboard. And this is just the typical things that Windows is going to ask you for. You can answer these the way you want. And once you update this and get through this installation, I would remove the USB and make sure that your boot selection is correct. So instead of it booting from USB, it will boot from your hard drive or SSD that you installed Windows on in the boot settings. It's going to restart. I will do my name for my PC. Okay, and we have more questions. I guess we need to sign in. I guess we get mini games with Windows, Windows 11 installation. Okay. Now I'm going to set my PC up as a new PC, press next, no location, no device, turning all this off, press accept. You can set up all this stuff later if you would like to, but for the tutorial's sake, I'm going to be skipping this. Decline, I don't want Microsoft 365. This should be the last step. Okay guys, we have now successfully installed Windows 11. I hope you enjoy using this. Like, comment, subscribe, check out the links in the description to go see my website, and I will see you on the next video. Peace out.